Stefani Joanne Angelina Germanata, known professionally as Lady Gaga, is an American singer, songwriter, and actress. She is known for her unconventionality and provocative work as well as visual experimentation. Gaga began her musical career performing songs at open mic nights and school plays. She studied at Collaborative Arts Project 21 through New York University's Tisch School of the Arts before dropping out to become a professional musician. After Def Jam Recordings canceled her contract, Gaga worked as a songwriter for Sony ATV Music Publishing, where Akon helped her sign a joint deal with Interscope Records and his own label Con Live Distribution in 2007. She rose to prominence the following year with her debut album, a dance pop and electropop record titled The Fame, and its chart-topping singles Just Dance and Poker Face. A follow-up EP, The Fame Monster, featuring the singles Bad Romance, Telephone, and Alejandro also proved successful. Gaga's second full-length album Born This Way explored electronic rock and techno. The album topped the U.S. Billboard 200 and sold more than one million copies in the country during its first week. Its title track became the fastest-selling song on the iTunes Store with over a million downloads in less than a week. Gaga ventured into R&B and disco with her third album Art Pop, which topped the U.S. charts and included the single Applause. In 2014, she released a jazz album with Tony Bennett titled Cheek to Cheek, her third consecutive number one album in the U.S. For her acting work in the television series American Horror Story, Hotel, Gaga won a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in 2016. Her fifth studio album, Joanne, incorporated genres such as country and pop, and she became the first woman to have four U.S. number one albums in the 2010s when it topped the country's charts. In February 2017, Gaga performed the Super Bowl 51 halftime show, which was met with critical acclaim. Having sold 27 million albums and 146 million singles as of January 2016, Gaga is one of the best-selling music artists in history. Her achievements include several Guinness World Records, three Brit Awards, six Grammy Awards, and awards from the Songwriters Hall of Fame and the Council of Fashion Designers of America. Gaga has been declared Billboard's Artist of the Year and included among four best power and earnings rankings. She was ranked at number four on VH1's Greatest Women in Music in 2012, finished second on Time's 2011 Reader's Poll of the Most Influential People of the Past Ten Years, and was named Billboard's Woman of the Year in 2015. She is known for her philanthropic work and social activism, including LGBT rights, and for her non-profit organization, the Born This Way Foundation which focuses on promoting youth empowerment and combating bullying. Artistry, Influences Gaga grew up listening to artists such as The Beatles, Stevie Wonder, Queen, Bruce Springsteen, Pink Floyd, Mariah Carey, The Grateful Dead, Led Zeppelin, Whitney Houston, Elton John, Blondie, and Garbage, who have all influenced her music. Gaga's musical inspiration varies from dance pop singers such as Madonna and Michael Jackson to glam rock artists such as David Bowie and Freddie Mercury, as well as the theatrics of the pop artist Andy Warhol and her own performance roots in musical theater. She has been compared to Madonna, who has said that she sees herself reflected in Gaga. Gaga says that she wants to revolutionize pop music as Madonna has. Gaga has also cited heavy metal bands as an influence, including Iron Maiden and Black Sabbath. She credits Beyoncé as a key inspiration to pursue a musical career. Gaga was inspired by her mother to be interested in fashion, which she now says is a major influence and integrated with her music. Stylistically, Gaga has been compared to Lee Bowery, Isabella Blow, and Cher. She once commented that as a child, she absorbed Cher's fashion sense and made it her own. She considers Donatella Versace her muse and the English fashion designer Alexander McQueen as an inspiration. In turn, Versace calls Lady Gaga the fresh Donatella. Gaga has also been influenced by Princess Diana, whom she has admired since her childhood. Gaga has called the Indian alternative medicine advocate Deepak Chopra a true inspiration, and has also quoted Indian leader Osho's book Creativity on Twitter. Gaga says she was influenced by Osho's work in valuing rebellion through creativity and equality, artistry, musical style and themes. Critics have analyzed and scrutinized Gaga's musical and performance style, as she has experimented with new ideas and images throughout her career. She says the continual reinvention is liberating herself, which she has been drawn to since childhood. Gaga is a contralto with a range spanning from B2 to B5. She has changed her vocal style regularly, 
and considers born this way much more vocally up to par with what I've always been capable of. In summing up her voice, Entertainment Weekly wrote, There's an immense emotional intelligence behind the way she uses her voice. Almost never does she overwhelm a song with her vocal ability, recognizing instead that artistry is to be found in nuance rather than lung power. Gaga's early songs have been called depthless by writer Camille Paglia in the Sunday Times, but according to Evan Saudi of Pop Matters, she does manage to get you moving and grooving at an almost effortless pace. Gaga believes that all good music can be played on a piano and still sound like a hit. Simon Reynolds wrote in 2010, Everything about Gaga came from Electro Clash, except the music, which wasn't particularly 1980s, just ruthlessly catchy naughties pop glazed with auto-tune and undergirded with R&B-ish beats. Gaga's songs have covered a wide variety of concepts, the fame discusses the lust for stardom, while the follow-up The Fame Monster expresses fame's dark side through monster metaphors. The Fame is an electropop and dance pop album that has influences of 1980s pop and 1990s Europop, whereas The Fame Monster displays Gaga's taste for pastiche, drawing on 70s arena glam, perky abba disco, and sugary throwbacks like Stacey Q. Born This Way has lyrics in English, French, German, and Spanish and features themes common to Gaga's controversial songwriting such as sex, love, religion, money, drugs, identity, liberation, sexuality, freedom, and individualism. The album explores new genres, such as electronic rock and techno. The themes in art pop revolve around Gaga's personal views of fame, love, sex, feminism, self-empowerment, overcoming addiction, and reactions to media scrutiny. Billboard describes art pop as coherently channeling R&B, techno, disco and rock music. With cheek to cheek, Gaga dabbled in the jazz genre. Joanne, exploring the genres of country, funk, pop, dance, rock, electronic music and folk, was influenced by her personal life, videos and stage. Featuring constant costume changes and provocative visuals, Gaga's music videos are often described as short films. The video for Telephone earned Gaga the Guinness World Record for most product placement in a video. According to author Curtis Fogel, she explores bondage and sadomasochism and highlights prevalent feminist themes. The main themes of her music videos are sex, violence, and power. She calls herself a little bit of a feminist and asserts that she is sexually empowering women. Gaga has called herself a perfectionist when it comes to her elaborate shows. Her performances have been described as highly entertaining and innovative. The blood-spurting performance of Paparazzi at the 2009 MTV Video Music Awards was described as eye-popping by MTV News. She continued the blood-soaked theme during the Monster Ball Tour, causing protests in England from family groups and fans in the aftermath of the Cumbria shootings, in which a taxi driver had killed 12 people, then himself. At the 2011 MTV Video Music Awards, Gaga appeared in drag as her male alter ego, Joe Calderoni, and delivered a lovesick monologue before a performance of her song You and I. As Gaga's choreographer and creative director, Lorianne Gibson provided material for her shows and videos for four years before she was replaced by her assistant Richard Jackson in 2014. Public Image Public reception of Gaga's music, fashion sense, and persona is polarized. Because of her influence on modern culture, and her rise to global fame, Sociologist Matthew de Flem of the University of South Carolina has offered a course titled Lady Gaga and the Sociology of the Fame since early 2011 with the objective of unraveling some of the sociologically relevant dimensions of the fame of Lady Gaga. When Gaga met briefly with then-President Barack Obama at a human rights campaign fundraiser, he found the interaction intimidating as she was dressed in 16-inch heels, making her the tallest woman in the room. When interviewed by Barbara Walters for her annual ABC News special 10 Most Fascinating People in 2009, Gaga dismissed the claim that she is intersex as an urban legend. Responding to a question on this issue, she expressed her fondness for androgyny. In a 2010 Sunday Times article, Camille Paglia called Gaga more an identity thief than an erotic taboo breaker, a mainstream manufactured product who claims to be singing for the freaks, the rebellious and the dispossessed when she is none of those. Gaga's outlandish fashion sense has also served as an important aspect of her character. During her early career, members of the media compared her fashion choices to those of Christina Aguilera. In 2011, 121 women gathered at the Grammy Awards dressed in costumes similar to those worn by Gaga, 
earning the 2011 Guinness World Record for largest gathering of Lady Gaga impersonators. The Global Language Monitor named Lady Gaga as the top fashion buzzword with her trademark no pants a close third. Entertainment Weekly put her outfits on its end of the decade best of list, saying that she brought performance art into the mainstream. Time placed Gaga on their all time 100 fashion icons list, stating, Lady Gaga is just as notorious for her outrageous style as she is for her pop hits, has sported outfits made from plastic bubbles, Kermit the Frog dolls, and raw meat. Gaga wore a dress made of raw beef to the 2010 MTV Video Music Awards, which was supplemented by boots, a purse, and a hat also made out of raw beef. Partly awarded in recognition of the dress, Vogue named her one of the best-dressed people of 2010 and Time named the dress the fashion statement of the year. It attracted the attention of worldwide media, the animal rights organization PETA found it offensive. The meat dress was displayed at the National Museum of Women in the Arts in 2012, and entered the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in September 2015. Gaga's fans call her mother monster, and she often refers to them as little monsters, a phrase which she had tattooed on herself in dedication. In his article Lady Gaga pioneered online fandom culture as we know it for Vice. Jake Hall wrote that Gaga inspired several subsequent fan branding, such as those of Taylor Swift, Rihanna, and Justin Bieber. In July 2012, Gaga also co-founded the social networking service LittleMonsters.com, devoted to her fans. According to Guinness World Records, Gaga was the most followed person on Twitter in 2011 and the most followed female pop singer in 2014. The book also named her the most powerful pop star that year. Forbes included Gaga on its Celebrity 100 from 2010 to 2015 and its list of the world's most powerful women from 2010 to 2014. She earned $62 million, $90 million, $52 million, $80 million, $33 million, and $59 million from 2010 through 2015. She was named one of the most influential people in the world by Time magazine in 2010 and ranked second in most influential people of the past 10 years in a Time magazine readers poll in 2013. In March 2012, Gaga was ranked fourth on Billboard's list of top moneymakers of 2011 with earnings of $25 million, which included sales from Born This Way and her Monster Ball tour. The following year, she topped Forbes' list of top earning celebs under 30, and in February 2016, the magazine estimated Gaga's net worth to be $275 million. Activism, Philanthropy After declining an invitation to appear on the single We Are the World 25 to benefit victims of the 2010 Haiti earthquake, Gaga donated the proceeds of her January 2010 Radio City Music Hall concert to the country's Reconstruction Relief Fund. All profits from her online store that day were also donated, and Gaga announced that $500,000 was collected for the fund. Hours after the 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami hit Japan, Gaga tweeted a link to Japan Prayer Bracelets. All revenue from a bracelet she designed in conjunction with the company was donated to relief efforts, these raised $1.5 million. In June 2011, Gaga performed at MTV Japan's charity show in Makuhari Mess, which benefited the Japanese Red Cross. In 2012, Gaga joined the campaign group Artists Against Fracking. That October, Yoko Ono gave Gaga and four other activists the Lenin Ono Grant for Peace in Reykjavik, Iceland. The following month, Gaga pledged to donate $1 million to the American Red Cross to help the victims of Hurricane Sandy. Gaga also contributes in the fight against HIV and AIDS, focusing on educating young women about the risks of the disease. In collaboration with Cindy Lauper, Gaga joined forces with MAC Cosmetics to launch a line of lipstick under their supplementary cosmetic line. Viva Glam. Sales have raised more than $202 million to fight HIV and AIDS. In April 2016, Gaga joined Vice President Joe Biden at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas to support Biden's It's On Us campaign as he traveled to colleges on behalf of the organization, which has seen 250,000 students from more than 530 colleges sign a pledge of solidarity and activism. Two months later, Gaga attended the 84th annual U.S. Conference of Mayors in Indianapolis where she joined with the Dalai Lama to talk about the power of kindness and how to make the world a more compassionate place. The Chinese government added Gaga to a list of hostile foreign forces, and Chinese websites and media organizations were ordered to stop uploading or distributing her songs.
the publicity department of the Communist Party of China also issued an order for state-controlled media to condemn this meeting.